I'm the most criticized pastor in Nigeria and I'm the busiest the most criticized and the busiest I go abroad every week and those criticizing me don't travel <laughs> hallelujah you know you know why why people wonder so sometimes people said to me respond you have to talk you have to talk and i said to them a wise man doesn't speak because he has to say something a wise man speak because he has something to say and also you get to a level in life you don't reply individuals you reply presidents you reply governments amen you know, there are so many assumptions people are I, you know i was a journalist and there's something you must know about media they tell you what they want people to hear amen yeah if they tell you if they tell you your pastor after this service ends now there is a crowd that comes by my office you see them all the time they want to collect rent they want to collect media doesn't pick that you know i'm one of the few pastors who judge and will condemn any pastor who lives on the offering and tithe of members it is a sin god will punish such a person if you are a pastor is the money from church that you live on with your family god will punish you you can't escape the punishment of god because actually there is no money in church if you are a man with a good heart there's no money in church if the governor of my state can appreciate me for helping government not even helping the poor our church has grown beyond helping the poor we are not helping government you buy transformers for community you do roads for community you buy build schools and give to government you build hostels give to government you go to prisons you buy transformer that's beyond helping the poor that's helping government so if a government if a governor can say you are helping me in this state who are you on the internet shut up shut up shut up shut up amen i like what the white man says you ain't seen nothing yet <laughs>